Hello everybody, this is Temporal Enigma, and welcome to Game Chat, the show where we talk about games. So, I'm playing some Call of Duty today. What is considered to be the last good Call of Duty. By many, not by myself. But, that got me thinking, when do games officially die? We hear every year that this is the end of Call of Duty. The, this is the end of Halo. Call of Duty's dead. Halo is dead. Whatever they see and someone doesn't like, they believe the game has died. Now, there are some games that have officially died. Up until recently, Battlefront was dead. Until we learned that they were reconstructing a new Battlefront game. Um, Alien Colonial Marines is dead. There were two games of that. It will never be resurrected. Medal of Honor very well might be dead. There hasn't been a new game for that in several years. As far as we know, there's no plans for any more games. But between all these similarities, what kills a game? Now, I'm not quite sure, and I don't really have an answer for that. The official death of a game is when a company stops making it. But we're looking for when does a game die in the eyes of the public? And, you know, it's not quite so easy to think about call of duty the worst selling call of duty of all time would be considered call of duty ghosts it was considered the worst and it sold the worst but it still sold over 14 million copies in the u.s that's probably more than colonial marines ever had i don't have the official numbers but the yet call of duty's determined to be dead yet they came out with two other games and honestly there's going to be a third coming out ghosts 2 we'll say and yet every year you hear the same thing call of duty is dead similarly with halo people who don't like halo 5 have decided it doesn't feel like halo anymore halo is now dead so what kills a game and it really is brought down into the factors of who doesn't want to play it anymore to the point where the company decides it's not profitable to make that game anymore? Um, it might be because a company goes under. Uh, Darksiders may very well be dead because THQ went bankrupt. Now, there has been news that someone might pick it up, but we haven't heard anything in almost a year. So if they don't make another game, Darksiders is dead. Um, but that has nothing to do with the game itself. It has to do with a company falling under. Games are very tricky because they require, unlike a movie, where you can make whatever you want. And that's that. If people don't like it, then people don't like it. Too bad. A game needs upkeep. You need to please people when you create a game. Um, the biggest thing is Call of Duty's argued and yelled at for putting out what they are considered the same game every year even though over the past two games they've constantly tried to push something to make it feel different and then when they do that they're yelled at again when advanced warfare put out the exosuits which after seeing how black ops 3 did it i admit the exosuits are a little much but the minute they put out the exosuits everyone was all like oh well this isn't call of duty this feels nothing like call of duty anymore this isn't Call of Duty's dead. When previously in Ghosts, before everyone had kind of considered that it was bad, um, everyone said, oh, well, look, just another Call of Duty game came out. Looks like Call of Duty's dead. And similarly for Halo. 343 tries to mix up Halo while still keeping it had that Halo feel, and everyone complains that it's dead because they changed too much. But if they kept it the same, it would be dead because they kept it the same. So... It's not easy to pinpoint what kills a game. It It's probably a number of factors. The biggest, and like I've said a couple times, the biggest factor is when people stop playing the game. When the company decides it's no longer profitable. The second is when a game comes out that's so bad, people have lost all hope in ever collecting the next one. Um, now, I never played any of the other Medal of Honor games, but I really liked Medal of Honor Warfighter. But apparently, as a collective, gamers didn't like it to the point where Danger Close never put out another one. Um, there you go. Uh, 
similarly, the next thing would really be sequels. Um, there's a point when a game has so many sequels, no one wants to play it anymore. And I'm not talking about games like Mario Party, where it doesn't really matter. That game, you don't buy the game because it's the best game ever in the same sense that you'd purchase, like, Rainbow Six. You purchase it because you're going to play it with your friends, you're going to hang out, you're going to have fun. It has a different feel to it. So the fact that there's nine Mario Karts doesn't matter, because each game is exactly the same, but you don't play it for the same reasons that you play AAA titles. If you look at, for me, the biggest issue I have is I will take the game that died off for me is Pokemon. I loved the old ones. I loved up till Platinum. Past that point, all the Pokemon I don't give a crap about. I couldn't care less. I couldn't care less about the games. They haven't changed enough for me, for me to care. Uh, Pokemon Go, when it comes out on mobile, I will play because that is a huge step in a different direction and is totally awesome. Um, but being able to run corners uh, diagonally in Pokemon X and Y and seeing something that resembles a Pokemon battle on screen more so than before really doesn't affect it. It's nothing like uh, Battle Arena was or Battle Coliseum, whatever they called it for the Wii, when you actually got to see the Pokemon fight each other. It's just the same thing, just with 3D. But, to a point, if there were going to be 10 Halo games, and I mean, to be honest, there's already 7 of them, if there were going to be like 10 or 15 Halo games, people would stop caring. Um, there's, what is this now? This is what, the 13th or 14th Call of Duty coming out? And... People have already slowly stopped caring. Now, the thing with Call of Duty, and I've talked about this before in a different video a while ago, is that you shouldn't play it because you want a, the best game in the world. You should play it because you enjoy the multiplayer experience or the zombies or whatever the third game mode is and just play it to play it, not play it because it's new and exciting and innovative. But that being said... The last thing I think might kill games is lack of story. These games that are very story-driven, such as Halo or Skyrim or, I should say, the Elder Scrolls series, or Fallout, um, where it's all very story-driven, Tomb Raider, stuff like that, when a game comes out that the story is really bad, or it feels like it's lacking because they've kind of run out of ideas... Um, that's another thing that'll kill games, and subsequently players won't play it anymore, and then the game will die off. The closest example I can think of right now at the moment is actually a fairly new game. Story-driven wise, I don't think Destiny would ever see a sequel. Now, Destiny is a very special case. For some reason, and we've talked about this before, people keep playing Destiny, even though it really shouldn't be played anymore. Uh, the same things that they, people argue about in other games, they like about Destiny, even though it's the exact same uh, element. And I'm not going to get into that in this video, but the big thing is, story-wise, Destiny has no story. I have no idea what's going on in the entire game. The DLCs have somewhat of a story, but I don't know. I see those live-action trailers and go, huh? Like, we're supposed to know what's happening? I don't know anything that's going on. So story-wise, that game should not have a sequel. Now, like I've said, because people play it enough, there's going to be a sequel. And because they keep pumping out DLC that people keep putting their money into. And I'd say the last thing would probably be uh, disappointing sequels. Um, the big thing would be, I'm going to compare this to Borderlands here. If Borderlands 3 wasn't planned, I would say the pre-sequel would have killed Borderlands the series. Now, <clears throat> this is a, again is a very special case. The pre-sequel wasn't really meant to be a full game. It was like Halo 3 ODST. It was meant to be there, but it was more meant to fill the void between two Halo games. Um, in this case, it was meant to fill the void between Borderlands 2 and Borderlands 3. But it wasn't totally marketed that way. It was marketed as a brand new Borderlands game, and to be honest, it felt like a subpar DLC to Borderlands 2. Um, 
it honestly it had the exact same engine not even updated graphics and it was talking about all these new features that were really not that great the new weapons aren't that great the new low gravity sucks uh the oz kit is terrible and everything's the same the jokes are the same the characters are the same and sure it's enjoyable to play but it's not something that would warrant a sequel now again that was a special case so unfortunately i can't think of any real examples but you understand my point um were borderlands 3 not announced planned and kind of through reading between the lines you could figure out what the pre-sequel was supposed to be borderlands would not exist anymore that game did not sell very well it was not very well received by the community it only had two dlc packs versus borderland 2 which had like eight so you see where i'm going with that so anyway that's my thoughts on why games die and how games die and you know what call of duty isn't gonna die it's not gonna die anytime soon we have two more games at least coming out we know sledgehammer is gonna make another game I mean, they just got added to the rotation. It's going to exist every single year. Halo is going to, I think, exist until the story just doesn't continue anymore. I think that's partially what Halo Online is supposed to be. I know it's only for Russia right now, but my thoughts is that Halo Online is going to take over when Halo on consoles cannot anymore. When they can't keep telling a story. Um, when it's like, well, you know, maybe Chief dies, maybe he retires two or three games from now who knows but they can't keep telling they can't just be like all right now we're going to tell palmer's story no one's going to give a shit um so and the same thing with call of duty they might even stop putting campaigns in games which honestly i wouldn't care about no one cares about the campaign anyway um so there you go but like i said that's my thoughts uh let me know what you guys think in the comments below like subscribe yada 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 and I will see you all next time. Later.